When I think of making barbecue, I think of charcoal and hardwood and a grill and maybe even a smoker. But I don't think about a slow cooker. I don't either. But the promise of big outdoor flavor and the convenience of a slow cooker, well, it does sound pretty darn tempting. But mm -hmm. without the right recipe, you end up with that. I've seen that before. This is stew, it's not barbecue. And let me show you the problem. It's all this liquid that was added to the slow cooker. All that flavor is washed out of the meat and into that liquid. Now, will I take this off to the side and eat it and probably drink all this liquid later on? Yes, I will, but it is not barbecue. All right, I'm gonna go take this off to the side. So before we get cooking, let's talk about buying ribs at the supermarket. Now there's up to three different kinds of ribs that you might find, and let's go through them. Here we have a St. Louis style rib, here we have a full spare rib, and here we have a baby back rib. Now these two cuts, the St. Louis and the spare rib, are cut from the same part of the pig, from the belly area. In fact, if I pick up the St. Louis rack and I put it on top of the spare ribs, you can see how much bigger the spare rib is. Now this brisket part of the belly is attached to the spare rib, making it much bigger, and that will change the cooking time dramatically. Now when it comes to baby back ribs, they're from a different part of the pig altogether. They're from the back, so they have more more bones, less meat, and require yet a different cooking time. So when you're shopping for ribs, it's important to know which kind you're buying and why. Well, today we're buying the St. Louis spare ribs. All right. Now, each of these racks weighs between two and a half to three pounds. The reason that we chose St. Louis, it's cut from the spare rib, so it's got plenty of fat, intramuscular tissue. That's going to mean more tender and juicy ribs. Most importantly, we can fit two racks in our slow cooker. Oh, good. Yeah, so we're gonna make a lot of ribs. I'm gonna cut it right in half. So let me find the meaty section there. Just cut it right in half, and we'll move on down the line, as they say. All right. So another problem with slow cooker recipes, they don't treat these like barbecue. They just put them into the slow cooker, maybe dump some barbecue sauce on there. We're gonna treat these as if they were going outside, and that means starting with a rub. So this is two tablespoons of paprika, just regular paprika. I've got a tablespoon of packed brown sugar. You can mm. use either light or dark. A tablespoon of kosher salt. We've got two teaspoons of granulated garlic and two teaspoons of onion powder. And that's two teaspoons of ground black pepper. All right, let's just mash this together, get any lumps out of that brown sugar. All right, that looks good. Now I wanna take a tablespoon of this and reserve it because we're gonna use it a little bit later on. Oh, secret spice for later. Secret spice. <laughs> we're gonna make a perfume with it. <laughs> so I'll take some paper towels and blot them dry because we want that spice rub to stick. We still have the membrane on these. You don't need to take that off. It's actually gonna help them hold together. All right, let's start getting some of the spice rub on there. I know my hands are gonna get messy and I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. Make sure that we get plenty on all sides and the ribs get a rub down. It's starting to look like a real barbecue over there. Doesn't it? So now it's time to put them in the slow cooker and how we put them in there is going to affect how they cook. You see, if you look at the side of one of these ribs, mm -hmm. you've got a fatter end over here, you've got a thinner end over here. We want that wider end to go down and we want the meatier side to go around the edges of the slow cooker. That's so that they cook more evenly. Now these will overlap, and that is fine. All right, lid is going wait, on. Wait, wait, there's no liquid in there. You're right, there's no liquid in there. As these cook, they are going to start to give off some of their liquid, not a whole lot, but that means that they won't have that washed out flavor. Interesting, so it's a dry slow cooker. It's a dry slow cooker. Now, you have two choices when you're using your slow cooker. You can cook it on high for five to six hours, or you can go for low, and that's gonna take about six to seven hours. We're gonna go for low today. Low and slow. That's right. All right. Ooh, look at all that liquid in there. Yeah, see it gave off some of that liquid, but it's nowhere near that amount that was in that bowl from earlier. We're done with the slow cooker at this point. So I wanna get these out. We're gonna put them on a wire rack set over a rimmed baking sheet. I went ahead and lined that sheet with aluminum foil. Later on, you're gonna see it's gonna help with cleanup. As these cool down for 10 minutes, they're gonna dry out a little bit on the top. That's gonna to make it easy for us to apply our barbecue sauce. It's gonna to stick to those ribs. Mm, stick to the ribs. Stick to the ribs. Speaking of sauce, this is a very easy, pantry-friendly sauce. And like all good things, it starts with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> so this is three-quarter cup of ketchup. All right, and I've got six tablespoons of apple juice. Huh, you find that a lot, and especially Memphis-style ribs, sometimes they'll brush them with apple juice. That makes it really, really, really good. So it's two tablespoons of molasses. So we're going all over the country here. <laughs> two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. 
two tablespoons of Worcestershire. I've got a tablespoon of yellow mustard. Gotta love the hot dog mustard. All right, got a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Little kick. Mm -hmm. A little bit of liquid smoke. Quarter teaspoon, if you wouldn't mind handing. Oh, the secret spice. That's right, that's our secret spice. That goes right in, and that's a tablespoon. All right, so I'll whisk this together. All right, that is it, very easy. Nice and easy, all pantry staples. Goes together like that. And it cooks very fast too. We're gonna bring it up to the boil, and then we're gonna lower that heat, let it simmer for about 10 minutes until it's reduced to a cup. That's it, easy peasy. That is a quick cooking sauce, Ooh, 10 that's, minutes. That's nice and thick. It is nice and thick. All right, so this is ready to go on those ribs. Again, those have also sat there conveniently for 10 minutes. So the surface is nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and brush it with some of the sauce, about half the sauce that's in here. That's about a half a cup. So we're gonna just slather it all over the place. Ooh, that makes those ribs look a lot better. Now it's looking like barbecue. Mm -hmm. You're painting them on very artistically. You like that? I do. I've got this Bob Ross method. <laughs> <laughs> it's a happy little rib right it's there. It's a happy rib. All right, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna save the rest of that sauce for just a moment, but these are going to go into the oven under the broiler. We wanna leave them in there for about four minutes. Ah, oh, so a little glazing effect. Exactly, it's gonna look like barbecue. Now those ribs are really close to that broiler element. That is totally by design. So this rack is about three inches from the broiler element. Those ribs are about an inch away. That means really, really good char, kind of like what would happen on a grill. Ah, all right. Now, take a look at that. That is some good looking barbecue. It looks like it came right out of the smoker, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. We're not quite done yet. We've got the rest of this beautiful sauce. I'm gonna shellac it right at the end. Oh, these look so different than when they came out of that slow cooker. There's no stew here. I'm entranced. It is mesmerizing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so good. Mm -hmm. Patience, patience. We have to wait 20 minutes to tuck into these. They need to rest. A little piece of foil right on top. And again, we're gonna tent this and let it sit for about 20 minutes. All right, big reveal. Et voila. <laughs> <laughs> Those are gorgeous. And what you don't see is a whole bunch of juice underneath the ribs. They're not swimming in it because we didn't add it to the slow cooker. That means all the flavor is in there and you don't have to take my word for it. I'm gonna cut them Enough up Enough of this, <laughs> more of this. <laughs> all right, so let me cut these for you. Now I like to cut them upside down because just take a knife and you can go right in between the ribs. Makes it much easier to see. Mm. Mm. All right, how many ribs would you like? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a full skeleton, please. <laughs> I'll give you three. Oh, nice. Because one is never enough. One's never enough. All right, I'm just gonna dig in. Please do. Mmm. Super tender. And I like that sauce. It's got a little bit of kick to it. Mm -hmm. Must have been that secret spice you added. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So juicy, too. It is really juicy, because mm -hmm. again, the juice wasn't in the bowl at the end, it's in the ribs. That's right, and that's where all the flavor is. So to make killer Memphis-style ribs in the slow cooker, start in Missouri. Buy St. Louis-style ribs and give them a good rub down with a flavorful spice rub. Then arrange the ribs in the slow cooker with the thick ends pointing down and the meaty side facing out and cook them without any liquid until they're just tender. To finish the ribs and give them a saucy glazed exterior, run them under the broiler and baste them with a sweet smoky barbecue sauce. And there you have it. From Cook's Country, the best recipe for slow cooker Memphis-style wet ribs. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. That's a better mouthful. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>